refuting the Sanji is only fast in sneak attacks opinions, Sanji versus Kurubi Sanji is in front of the guy. He is staring at Sanji. He is talking to Sanji. Sanji attacks him from the front. He still gets blindsided. Sanji vs. Wanza what is so impressive about Sanji dodging a kick? Anyone can do that. But wait, what's up with Sanji's leg? Yup, Sanji blew him away with 12 kicks in a single panel. That oven kick doesn't seem so out of nowhere now does it? Sanji vs. Jabra Sanji leaps at Jabra and he attacks him so fast he can't even react. Sanji vs. Judge Judge launches a sneak attack on Sanji, stabbing through his men. The tip of his spear almost touches Sanji's face, dot and he moves back and blocks it in an instant. Sanji vs. Absalom in between the words, as, and, you, Sanji blitzes Absalom. And then he does it again. Sanji's speed disappeared in Kakao Island for plot reasons, but returned the second they got off the island. Here's Daifuku coming in for Carrot. Here's him being mid-swing. There's Sanji noticing the attack from below. And in NDDD he blocks it. Despite the attack already being in progress and BIM being far below. Pointing out that Sanji is slower than he should be sometimes is a point one can make for everyone. Why can't Zoro break metal bars in Fishman Island if he can cut a mountain and Baby Reiju could do so? Why couldn't Luffy break out of ropes tied by some civvies? You can find an anti-feat for anything, the focus should be the broader picture. Asterisk Theory by Gabriel Michelson